<laughs> That's fantastic. What's up, machine freaks? Welcome to another 3D Machines vlog. We got the whole family here. We got Cole, my brother, and we got Prince. Prince is uh, probably enjoying the gator the most. What do you think? Is that? Are you having fun? <laughs> This isn't good at all. It looks like I popped two tires. Look at this. I mean, come on, I just replaced this one. Gator, why, why'd you do this to me? The gator just needs some coaxing is all. This should do it. <laughs> That's not good at all. I literally just replaced that. I went on one ride. Prince, you look good in the game, buddy. You look real good. Okay, see you later, Prince. See you later, Prince. Okay, okay. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Oh, we got down. <laughs> I think everybody's aware of what I want to accomplish with the Gator. I want to put the engine out of this thing into this thing. Now, I, I believe this is like a 12 or 14 horse like lawnmower engine. Nothing crazy. If we could put some numbers on this, how many uh, times, uh, how would you say that? At least a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't be twice as more powerful. It won't be three times, four times, five, eight times more powerful. That's what that engine will do in this thing, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to that. She's definitely gonna be fun. <laughs> Boom, 17 millimeter, I knew it. Prince, by the end of the day, I want to see you turn some wrench. Why are you doing that? That's what I'm supposed to do too. No, you said it wasn't enough. We're going to do this one and this one, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Cole, I give it to you though because you're helping me wrench on it. That earns you uh, points when it comes to the passenger seat. I don't know about the driver's seat just yet. <laughs> You're all sticked up, aren't you? Nobody's petting you or anything. <laughs> He's resting his head right on my ratcheting arm. Wow, my nuts are hot. There's so much friction here, these nuts keep getting hot. Oh, you beat me, huh? Yep. No, this wasn't supposed to be race. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm not exactly sure what's got to happen to make that engine fit into here. But what I do know is that there are certain steps that need to be taken. Saying that Cole and I are taking off the things that are in the way and then things that can get in the way. But the overall objective here is to see what's under this plastic cover. Once we see what's under that plastic cover, we can kind of see how that engine has to correspond to work with this gator. Cole, am I making sense? Totally. Oh, okay. Basically, we're seeing what the powertrain looks like here. So then we can see if this one's even going to work. I got another ball. <laughs> yeah. I was getting all excited. I'm like, here we go. Ah, oh, man. All right, take two. Moment of truth. I don't know. I got it this hot or if somebody else did it, but this is all melted. Can, can you see that? Cole, check that out. I knew this was going to look something like this. What I'm really concerned about is how the crankshaft looks. That's what hooks onto this clutch right here. So we got to get this clutch off. Good point. He says, after we're done with this, this is no longer the gator. What is it? Give me a crocodile! Crocodile! What I'm really contemplating right now, and I, what I would really like from you guys, is give, give me your input. Because right now, how it works is it's kind of like a snowmobile, it's kind of like an automatic four wheeler. And basically, what I mean by that is you hit the gas here, 
and it does all the shifting for you. It does all the speed for you. You don't have to do anything. Where the motorcycle, you have gears and you have a clutch and stuff like that. Saying that, I don't know exactly what one I want just yet. Say I have somebody who doesn't know how to shift or anything drive this thing or try to drive this thing, it, they're not gonna really be able to do it. And also, if I have like a clutch and stuff like that, now, it would be extremely cool, don't get me wrong, like, if you would shift the gears, bah, 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 like, it would be extremely cool. Once I get a clutch in this thing, I'm going to want to do some stupid stuff, like pop the clutch, and I might burn through the transmission, or burn through the sprockets, or stuff like that, which isn't a big deal, but it becomes a big deal once you do it every weekend. And I think what we're going to do is just do the automatic thing right now, and then worst case scenario is, we do the shift thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, we install a third pedal. This n no longer is, well, then we don't have reverse either. This thing isn't made to go fast. We're using the thousand cc's to like climb hills and like haul stuff. I'm not really trying to make it into a NASCAR kind of thing. You're cracking out, huh? <laughs> you turn one degree, you're going fast and you're done. Exactly, yeah. Well, the gator's about to get naked. And this is why I bought two new tires. We have a slit right here. All along here we got dry rot. Oh yeah, look at this. That's that sidewall shot. This tire is completely shot. Cole and I will rip this tire right off. And that one's leaking too, so I did buy two tires. I'm gonna slap them on here. This is why I dig the gator. Because it does its own work. It pops its own beads. What other machine can do that? There you go. Booyah! Oh yeah! This one's a little bit more difficult because they put glue on this thing. I guess we're gonna have to get this one off the old fashioned way. Let's build a freaking bead breaker. Get this job done. So here's the actual bead breaker. And I had this upstairs but I'm not really a fan of it, and I'll show you why. So I've owned this for probably three or four years now, and it's only actually worked like one or two times. So the reason why this one doesn't work is here, check it out. When I push down, and the reason why that is is not because I'm an idiot and don't have it bolted to the ground. I don't bolt it to the ground because I don't have a specific spot to put this thing. Like, this garage is extremely small. I gotta make it work. So instead of worrying about where to put all of this piece, I'm gonna build one. And we're going to incorporate one of my favorite characters on the channel, the D-Max. Cole and I have come up with a plan, a very, very good plan. We ended up finding this chunk of steel in the backyard. What I plan to do is actually cut it in half so we can make two potential tools. Right now we can only think of one use for it. So instead of getting rid of this entire chunk, we're just going to use half of it. This is high grade steel, we don't want to just waste it. Yes, yes, I know I could use a bandsaw, but then where would the sparks be? Oh, that's why we're steel toes, kids. <laughs> Just in case a, a nice heavy piece of steel falls on your foot. It's not a good time. What is a good time? It's when you're making handcraft tools. Made in America, for Americans, by Americans. Something like that. Basically what this is going to act as is our stand. Now this, I don't know about you, but you're not really going to move 6,000 pounds trying to break a bead of a tire. Saying that, Duramax will work perfect. We'll try to build something here, make it work. Here, you know, we got this going on. Now this is now the Duramax. The Duramax isn't going to want to move. The Duramax is just going to sit there. It's going to be like, what are you doing back there kind of thing. <laughs> Cole prepped all the material. Thank you, Cole. I, I do appreciate it, buddy. Give me some knuckles. Absolutely. He prepped everything. Cole and I actually have to head out pretty soon, but we want to show you the final product. Saying that, we're going to assemble this and try to take that tire on. Let's get it, dude. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to work or do you think it's not going to work? 
This thing ain't gonna stand a chance. This is brother teamwork right here. We made this happen, Paul. If this works, which it should, I'm gonna be happy. I'll hang on to the Duramax so it doesn't move. Oh wow! That was oh, that was the that was the time it was broken. We got oh, okay, was we got around. I think it's gonna break the bead. Like I can't think of an analogy for this. That's okay. Let's just do it, buddy. Ah! Look at that. <laughs> self ejecting. <-ejected. laughs> the reason why we attached this to the Duramax because I didn't think it was gonna move as much. This thing's moving. Look at this. We're, we're, it's working. We had to get out a couple bugs, but look at that! It's off! We got her. Go get in the shot. Look at this. We got this done. Teamwork, brother work. We got her all situated. We finally got this thing off. Let's patent this. Patent it? So that tire didn't want to come off at all. But with a little DNA and a little intuition, we got the job done. We got the gator. We got the soon to be crocodile tire off. But the only thing is, this is a Brad plastic sticker. That is true. That is true. We'll, we'll get one on her for sure. Cole and I got to take off. We got to go see our, our father. Go have a good time. Enjoy our family. You guys do the same. I'm holding this thing. Otherwise, I'd point to you. Until next time, 3D Machines and Cole out. Enjoy your day.